I'm somewhat humbled to have been asked to become a patron of the European Transplant and Dialysis Games. It was perhaps six or seven or even eight months ago when I was accosted by Colin White and James Nolan in the Castlenock Hotel, who explained to me what the plans were for the Irish Kidney Association to host the European Games in Dublin in 2010. I was taken aback by the energy, the enthusiasm that they had for what this whole thing is all about. I was very fortunate, I guess, to have good health and to have the ability to be able to run fast from the time I was a nipper growing up on the streets of Dublin. I was very fortunate that I had the luck to be able to win world championships and European championships and whatever world records and meet people from all around the world. My wife and I are very fortunate that neither Neither of our families were ever in the situation that you recipients of uh, transplants or those of you who are on dialysis, we never ever experienced anything like that in our homes or any members of our families, relatives. We have no idea what it's like whatsoever. I can't imagine what it's like. I was fortunate enough too when I retired from athletics to work for Our Lady's Children's Hospital in Crumlin as Director of Fundraising and Development. And throughout those years, yes, I did experience young children, young boys and young girls who needed dialysis. Young boys and young girls who needed kidney transplants or liver transplants or children suffering from cystic fibrosis who needed new heart and lung transplants. And I've seen some of those young children who passed away as a result of the lack of available organ donors out there. And when I was asked to become a patron of the European Transplant and Dialysis Games, I had no other answer but yes, of course, what can I do? Well, I've done nothing, only shown here today uh, to officially launch the countdown of next year's games, which will be held in Dublin. But when I look back, Throughout my career, winning Dublin Championships, winning Irish Championships, winning European Championships, winning World Championships, losing the bloody Olympic Games. <laughs> Not once, but twice. <laughs> Finishing fourth. The Lord said, come forth, so I came forth. <laughs> however, however, we so-called heroes, we so-called role models, we so-called sports celebrities have a tendency to get it all wrong. When you lose, when you're injured, when you're sick, when you're not getting enough money for your appearance in a race, all of a sudden you lose perspective of life. Okay, we grow up with the goal, with the vision to become champions, but sometimes we sports heroes lose perspective whether it be Carl Lewis or Usain Bolt or Ronaldo or Roy Keane, whatever sporting hero was out there who does not need transplant, who does not need dialysis, we lose perspective of life. And when I hear Deirdre and Darren and the energy and the enthusiasm that they have for their sport, for their sport, why? Because something was taken away from them whether it be the kidney, whether it be the liver we talked about. Sport has now given them back something that we athletes have lost perspective of, and that is life. And that is what we want to go through and what we want to teach our children as we go through. So you can lose that perspective becoming a sport, what a sporting hero is, or what a sporting hero is trying to achieve when you're talking about other people in your life who are less fortunate than you. So I only wish that I could have you two athletes speak to healthy athletes, if, to use the uh, description that both of you have used, because by God, you would motivate them, instill enthusiasm in them before some games that they would compete in. And I have no doubt that the energy that's coming from the Irish Kidney Association and from Colin and from James, he talked about competing in the European Games this year, and he said, what should I do? I said, just go and do it, right? Just do it. So he stood on the starting line, he showed me the picture, he could see that enthusiasm in his face, he showed me the finished photograph. Go, 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 go. 
not going by the Russian. Because <laughs> he just went out there and did it. And fair play to you, James. And every one of the Irish participants for the wonderful achievement, whether you won medals or whether you didn't win medals, your achievement in life for going out there and just living life to its fullest. So, I was thinking there also, if I may just add one more little point. When we are looking to increase donor awareness, not just in Ireland, but donor awareness all over the world. Is Desi here? Is Desi Farrell? Where is Desi? I saw Desi's name there. Hiya, Des. I was just thinking to myself, in-game football and hurling, hundreds of thousands of young boys and girls, young and old. In athletics, there are many thousands of boys and girls, young and old. In swimming, in all those sports around the country. Well, wouldn't it be wonderful when I sign up to the Athletics Association of Ireland and I receive my annual membership card? That why not on the back of all sports clubs in Ireland, that their membership card could have on the back of that an opportunity to become a donor and you reach out to able sports body people who don't have any illnesses but someday might require it but someday in the event of a sad occurrence which happened in my family when we lost a two year old child only last year that those people would be able to afford the opportunity to be donors to people who really need it urgently and need it right now so without further ado my only job, as I said, is to be a, a patron of the games. And my only job over the next year is to do whatever I can do for you, Colin, because I see how professional you are in your operation. Whatever I can do, and I'm sure that goes for Desi and all the lads in the GEA, whatever we can do to help you, we'd be proud and only too willing to do it. So without further ado, I got my instructions. I am now going to officially launch the countdown of the 2006 European Transplant and Dialysis Game, which will be taking place here in Dublin, the European capital for sport next year, and it's going to be in 295 days, three hours,